Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. If you're new here, today's video is going to be a demo and review on the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. So if you're interested in my thoughts, keep on watching. Okay, so I picked up four different Halo Glow Wands. So we have the Contour Wand in Tan Deep. That's what it looks like. Hopefully it's a good color. The Deep looked really dark on the swatch online, but I should have picked that up too. But here we are. Um, I picked up a blush in Rosé You Stay. Looks like that. They're all shimmery, the blushes. Another blush in Berry Radiant. And then a highlighter in Liquid Gold. The Glow Wands retail for $9, you guys. $9. So... Um, Elf says contour like a pro. Elf Cosmetics Halo Glow Contour PD1 lets you add natural definition and luminous glow to your complexion. The lightweight liquid formula is infused with hydrating squalene and effortlessly blends into the skin while the wand cushion tips offers a precise application. Alrighty, alright. So we already know who they trying to copy with this wand situation. It's another another Charlotte Tilbury dupe. <laughs> so Elf already came out with a Halo Glow Liquid Filter for the dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury, um, what is that called? Flawless Filter. I don't have mine anymore because mine was old and I used it, threw it away. Um, but I didn't replace it because I actually really like the Halo Glow a lot. So, here we are. So, these are the Charlotte Tilbury wands, just so you can see. I don't have a contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury, but I do have a highlighted wand. This is in the shade Spotlight, and I have a blush wand, which actually recently came out in the shade Dream Pop. So, the Dream Pop blush, though, is matte, whereas the e.l.f. blushes are shimmery at the moment. So, yeah. As you can see, this is Charlotte Tilbury. It has a cushion applicator. And I think those retail for $36, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's just get into this e.l.f. 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 Eyes of Space. So, this is what e.l.f. looks like. It's a little smaller. Let's see how much product you get in the e.l.f. wand. So you get 0.33 fluid ounce or 10 milliliters. In Charlotte, you get 12 milliliters. So you do get more in the Charlotte Tilbury, but $9.36. Yeah. All right. Oh. The cushion is much smaller, but they do have the same twist to open situation that Charlotte has, too. So, yeah. Huh. Let's see. Let's try this. Alright, there we go. Watch this color not be dark enough for me. Okay. I don't like cushions though. I don't like the cushions. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's just not sanitary. And it never gets clean. It's never the same again after you use it, you know? Okay. Am I putting too much on? Maybe. I like it from my nose though. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the mini base brush from Sonia G. And blend that out. Ooh, it blends really nicely. Okay. <laughs> you see, you see, you see, you see. Charlotte, you could have been came out with a darker shade. And now you have Elf giving people options. What's gonna happen now? And y'all know I love me some Charlotte Tilbury, like, truly. She has really good products, but this, <laughs> I have to laugh at it. 
Because what? So what's the excuse now? Because if a drugstore, affordable brand can do it, I'm sure you can too, right? Am I tripping for saying that? I don't think so. All right. So we just blend the contour up into the brow. This, my skin, it looks so good. Stop it. Wow, what do you guys think? This is tan to deep. So I actually didn't even need the darker color. You guys, $9 nine dollars i said go ahead and pick it up that's just me all right for the blush let's swatch them let's see all right so i have berry radiant and rose you stay if you hear a lot of background noise because we're getting ready for dinner and i decide i wanted to film so please excuse all the noise you know life this is Berry Radiant. That's pretty. I don't think, even think I need the highlighter. Ooh. And this is Rosé Stay. So that's literally going to be a highlight for me. A pinky highlight. So we're going to go on with Berry Radiant. Um, I'm actually going to pop some on the back of my hand. Right there. I don't know how to close this. Properly. Oh well. Going in with a Sonia G. This is a cheek brush. It's natural bristles, but child, uh, we gonna put on this liquid with it today. Sorry. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, no, hold up. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of emphasizing the little breakouts that I have. All right, so that's what it looks like. It's really a highlighter, truly. A highlighter it's pretty though it's cute okay just a little bit of emphasizing of a little bit of texture that I have here which I felt like the foundation kind of blurred out but that's okay that's okay here we are okay cute all right another day of me testing this out I didn't get to finish that video You'll hear that in like three different videos. <laughs> but let's go ahead and apply the contour one. I'm gonna try the other color of the blush. Or the highlight. It's gonna be a highlight on my shade. My skin tone. I really like this for my nose. The only thing I would say that this is difficult to close. To get the cap on completely without feeling like you're squeezing product out. That's the only thing. I don't remember which brush I used to blend this out. It may have been this, the mini base from Sonia G. I used it for my concealer, but oh well. <laughs> Let's go ahead and blend this out. Ooh, I love this. Look how easy that blends, you guys. Nine dollars.
It has a nice set down as well, but it's not drying, which I really like. Like you still have enough time to work with it and blend it out, but it sets down really. Look at that contour. Okay, definition. I like this color a lot. All right, let's bend out this nose. That is pretty. Okay, let's go back in with the same color that we used for the blush. This is the Berry Radiant. So that's how much I have on the back of my hand. Let's go in with the highlighting shade to see what that looks like. This is Liquid Gold. Okay, squeeze that up. I'm not gonna squeeze too much up and just place it on the high points. I don't think these actually close like the Charlotte Tilbury ones because I, when I was twisting it, I feel like it wasn't really closing. So I might be wrong about that. So that's the only thing I would say because it's going to get messy. Like, I mean, the ones just get messy in general. Ooh. Okay, highlight. I really like that. It's not shimmery. It's not too metallic. It gives a nice lip from within. Look at that glow, you guys. Wow, a night lit from within glow. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. What do you guys think? I'm not mad at it at all. This is probably gonna be on the top shelf. These little wands, these are cute. Let me go ahead and finish up my makeup and I'll come back and I'll show you what everything is looking like. So this is my completed makeup. This is what everything is looking like. So I did put powder on my face. I'm using my Dior Cushion Powder, which I really like, but that powder is a little bit more matte on the complexion. But as you can see, I still have a nice radiance to my skin. What do you guys think of the contour? I think it's really pretty. I don't have any powder bronzer over this contour at the moment. I just want to see what this color looks like and I actually really like it I think it's a nice neutral but with a little bit of warmth to it that still gives a little bit of you know sun-kissed appearance but definitely gives a natural definition that I like to my skin not too deep they do have a deeper shade than this I have the shade tan deep and I think it's perfect for my complexion at the moment so I really like it the blush color as you can see even though it has a nice glow to it, it still gives a nice flush of color on the skin and that highlight the liquid gold, I love it. I love it. There's no glitter in it. It's just giving a real nice lip from within glow, which I really like. You guys know that I love to look glowy, but not metallic, not glittery. And I think that that is giving like the perfect, the perfect amount of glow for most people. I really like it. The only thing I would say about these cushions, the only thing I would say is... <laughs> The packaging is not necessarily my favorite and that goes for all cushion products i don't really like them i think that they're pretty messy i don't think that they're hygienic but the the whole concept of them makes sense you know a nice natural easy dot dot thing it makes sense but i just something about it it's just something about it that i don't really enjoy but i do like the formulation of these liquid products i think that they're really pretty they look really good on the skin especially for nine dollars like we're not even going to talk about them in comparison to the charlotte Tilbury. like on their own they're really good nine dollars the only thing i would say i wish that they had matte blushes and hopefully they come out with more like matte natural finish type of blushes instead of the shimmery appearance to the blush um which is still beautiful, but I think most people will want a little bit more of a matte appearance to their blush. So that's the only thing I would say. For $9, I would definitely say pick some up. 
you won't be disappointed in the formula it looks really good i did wear it before like you saw i wore it the demo and i think that it wore really well it didn't really smudge it didn't move it looked really good on my complexion the definition was there like i mentioned i really like the way that it looks on my nose it gives that really nice soft glam appearance with how you apply it and it just blends out very easily so that's what i really like about it i'm not mad at it at all these are definitely going to be in the everyday stash i think it's something that i'll definitely pick up often to use so yeah affordable nine dollars but good formula elf has been killing it lately with most of the items that they have released so i would say if y'all looking at into this and you want to try it to definitely pick it up not just in comparison to the charlotte tilbury but just on its own it is a good formula so guys that's going to be it for today's video everything will be linked in the description box down below if you're interested in trying anything out if you're new here hi i'm jordy and i would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you like the video give it a thumbs up because it helps me out i'll see you guys in the next video bye